Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksons here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, if you guys didn't see my last video, basically what I did is I just showed you guys a lot of the updates inside of the Agarina test server, which is the version of the game that we're on right now. So if you guys want to kind of get up to date with exactly what I'll be showing you guys in this video, you can definitely check that one out. It's a very short video. It's like four and a half minutes. But anyway, currently it's 6.30 a.m. Still haven't slept yet, but I want to do, uh, do another couple videos elaborating on some of the changes that are actually inside the test version. So in this video, more than likely what we'll be looking at is... Uh, Tunisia. I don't know actually how know how to pronounce it, but it's basically a new map within COD Mobile, as well as the new Cluster Strike score streak, which you can see right here, uh, comes at 950 points, and Takio's Katana, which is a brand new specialist or operator skill, I guess is probably what you want to call it. So if you guys do enjoy this video at any point, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and load into a match and uh, test out the brand new map and hopefully try to get the score streak and specialist uh, while we're doing it. So hopefully we don't get S&D, anything but that would be perfect. All right, so we got a domination. Uh, this should be pretty good. Hopefully we don't have any sweats or anything. We can just kind of kill some bots to show you guys what this is. But also when you load into the match, you can actually see there's a brand new like preview. Um, it looks like they actually kind of... Bro, this map is super sweet. This reminds me of like a CSGO type map. I've never actually played it, even though it was in the beta. Oh, I missed my shoot button. Go ahead and call the UAV. My my HUD is super messed up too, my sensitivity, so. My uh my skills aren't probably gonna be as good as they could be. Game audio is kinda loud too. Dude, I literally don't know this map in the slightest. <laughs> no, I couldn't make it. Dude, I'm excited to memorize this map, to be honest, and, and grind it out in ranked when it actually comes to global. Uh, I'm not going to help with that cap. Actually, might as well get the free points. Ah, oh, bro, the, the ping is so bad. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yo, we already got the cluster air strike. Heck yeah. Um, Somebody just got... There we go. Try to roam around the map a little bit more. But anyway, here's the, the air strike, if you guys want to see what this looks like. Uh, so you just select one spot. So let's just say here, I guess. I probably should have done it close so I could look. Oh, I already got I got two kills. So it just sends in a, an airstrike that just continually goes down for a while, seems like. Dang, that'd be really good in Dom and like hard point if you just want to make sure that they just can't cap for like a good 10 seconds. Just throw it down. Anyway, there's first round though. Uh so that was the cluster strike. So now I really want to get the uh what is it? Like I already forgot the name. Tequila's katana. There we go. And as you can tell, we also have the, the new perk overkill. So we actually have two ARs right now. I mentioned that in the first video. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out. So as you can tell, it goes to third person perspective. That's pretty sick. Um, so the aim button is you go into FPS. Can you like throw it? Oh, you can. No, I want it back. Oh, so can you just throw it once? No. So, okay. So you can throw it or I think you can swing it multiple times until it runs out. But again, or you can just throw it once. Uh, people were saying the M4 might have been buffed. I don't think it was, though. Oh, there's air strike. Oh, this part of the map is sick. This part of the map is sick. I got an air strike, too. All right, let's call this in. I want to call it in, like, right in front of me so I can watch it. All right, see what it looks like. You can actually see where it goes, too. That, as you can tell, just literally pounds them down. It costs a little bit more than an XS1, so it makes sense that it uh, is this gnarly. Oh, okay, we got the sword. All right, let's pull it out. All right, so what I need to be doing is just swinging at people, right? Don't be throwing it. I think you can ADS, but you just don't want to throw it. Boom. Okay. All right, let's just go rush him on A. Or, yeah, yeah, they're right here on A. Oh, bro, he's going off on him. I see, though. Let's go ahead and get this guy. I don't think your health gets buffed. Oh. Oh, bro, you just lunge at people. That's wild. So as soon as it's locked in, you just want to tap the fire button, I think. And then you'll just literally lunge at them super hard. Yeah, I think I gotta go this way. Cluster strike coming in somewhere. No, and then it wears off. Okay, so we got a nice two kills with it just to kind of show it off. Okay, so that is it for the quick sneak peek at the... Uh, what? I Dude, I literally keep forgetting the name. Uh, Takio's Katana, as well as the Cluster Strike in the map uh, Tunisia. I apologize if it wasn't amazing gameplay. I just wanted to get out something to kind of show you guys what it all looks like, just so you guys have something to look at. But I am definitely excited to play with all of that stuff when it does come to the global version. Definitely shaping up to be a really nice next season. But again, super tired. I'm probably going to go to bed, maybe take a nap right now. It's kind of weird to go to bed at 7 a.m. So it might just be a nap. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. With all of that being said, I will see you guys later. Peace.